Welcome to Loro's Lab. Another episode. Today, a little bit something different. We're gonna we're gonna talk about a clutch that I did today uh, with 6K. By the way, my first 6K in my in in my life, and it's a immortal free lobby. By the way, you know, not really low immortal lobby, high immortal lobby, and um, I will analyze. What did I do wrong? What did I do right? And explain to you what I was thinking while doing the actions do during this clutch. And, um, you know, this is from a perspective of a signed VCT Riot uh, analyst. Anyway, humble bragging over. Let's go straight up into it. Um, one more important thing. This episode is, of course, sponsored by Elgato. Check out the stream deck in different stuff. Type an exclamation mark Elgato. Wait, that's for Twitch. For YouTube, it's different. Ha! <laughs> anyway, all right. Let's let's rewatch the clip and learn what this guy had to say. Aha! Uh -huh. Full screen. So I started. Oh, wait, did I get a kill on short here? Let's see. Okay, no kill on short. Setting up the TP on mid for spawn. I'm helping him the sage here by doing fake shots to in case someone will try to peek me from short and go into the sage so she gets a kill. TP because I just risked it. I had absolutely no idea if someone is here or not. Typically, with normal setups from players, they don't hear you TP here unless someone is marked. Okay, so Cypher was checking me, but it's lazy check, I guess. I saw another player go backside B. We know that there's one CT and one Heaven rotating towards CT. The Fade has no, absolutely no idea that I TP'd here, so I trigger Discipline because I know there's one B main. Get the first kill on B main, All right? then get the second kill. Now we're one up from the ultimate. I was thinking right here when I picked up the orb, I was thinking I should probably hunt one down when I still have time. So like, like pop the ultimate instantly there and try to get one kill and TP out back to B. But I didn't do it because I was like a little bit greedy and maybe I was hoping I can figure out a way to save it for post plant. But once I started rotating, I hear steps here on short. Right now, coming short, then that's when I realize I have to use the ultimate to cross the site because I have absolutely no certainty about anything now. So checking site, planting for everything essentially, right? I should have, there's a, there's a mistake here, by the way. This TP should have been set up when I was ulting when next to Jenny. When I was ulting, I should have been already setting up a TP towards Vine. Wine. That this is a mistake here. This is a huge loss of time and travel time as well. So this was, should have been done earlier. That's a huge mistake. Now I have to in a 1v3 like this, the only way you can win is if your opponents make mistakes and you can capitalize on mistakes. So I need to be aggressive and try to get kills. That's why I swing like a moron. Quick change. Now we know the second player was exposed. So pretty nice. We're setting up a we're setting up a a, a confusion play right now. So the TP is for um it can either be real TP or fake TP, but I pre-set up the the clone right here so I don't have to equip him later on in case I get pushed. And it's like crossfire, right? Left, right. Uh, or like from stage perspective, left and right. And the spike is planted for me deep under hell. So he has no way of knowing if the TP is real or not because it's so deep. So he has not absolutely easy. He does just doesn't see it. He only hears it. So I also activated the TP and I think I made a mistake here. The TP was activated too early because the player could have been confused um, and w because the sounds were, were too close to each other. So he might not even hear it. This is a, a, also a huge mistake. I should have done TP first, then clone, or first clone, small break, then TP. Now I count to three. This is something that I described in the yesterday's Lotus Lab episode. How to, how to count to three, right? <laughs> like when you when you do a retake. <laughs> Fuck me, I'm stupid. Pay attention to the to the ping, and uh, and the this and the time that passes. Let's do it again. He shoots it, so he's out defusing. 
One. Now with the flash was different. Okay, that now I can't. One, two, three. See? It's Holy like shit, it's always in that interval so that of the of the three seconds, essentially. Last round in the half. <sighs> All right, and we still lost that game, by the way. Explosions everywhere. Oh, uh, so, that was. Yeah. Oh wait, mute, mute, mute your rollota. So, um, essentially, what I'm trying to help you out, guys, with here is to showcase that there are some stuff that I'm showing in the loader's lab that actually do apply in real life and not like essentially everything setting up crossfires counting down to three when someone taps the spike um thinking of how to help your teammates uh like it's there's always something that you can play off and t and learn something even if you win a round like i won a 1v fucking six right but there were still massive mistakes that i can work on and get better at because you, you always can do something better, you know? Specifically also with agents like Yoro, when you have so many different things that you can do. But it's, it's very important, the mindset is very important to understand that even if you win a round, it doesn't mean you played well. And of course, the, there will be some egregious uh, examples of like, you know, losing, uh, sorry, winning a, a 1v3 and still, all of it was played incorrectly, or uh, winning a push, aggressive push on defense as a duelist first tempo and getting four kills, and you're like, oh yeah, we won the round, but you risk so much that sometimes it's not worth it. So, in my eyes, the mindset is just so important. Every game you can win, even if it's like really in a bad spot, but if you're toxic, if you're griefing, and that has been the entire day today and ranked. Just makes me sad. So don't be a bitch. Okay? Just play the game. Give comms. Don't be toxic towards other players. If you need to be toxic, if you need to let it out, don't open your mic. Just say it to yourself. So you vent, but you don't explode on other people. Thank you for watching. This next Lotus Slap episode, a little bit different, uh, but yeah, you have a nice uh, day. Also remember, leave ideas for next episodes in the comments. Bye-bye!